Welcome back. More revelations broke this week of low standards in high places, specifically concerning the financial affairs of people in public office in this country. The man at the centre of the latest controversy, Councillor Fergal Sweetman, joins me now in studio. Um, Councillor, um, first of all, thanks a million um, for coming in. Genuinely appreciated. That's no problem at all, Miriam. Councillor, how do you respond to these allegations? Well, first of all, Miriam, I'm, I'm glad that, that you asked me that question. And let me just say... Look, 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 I'm really sorry for butting in here, but 45 properties <laughs> dotted across the country, all undisclosed for tax? Well, Miriam, look, I reject the entire accusation out of hand. And I okay, challenge listen, Fergal, anybody... Fer Fergal, 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 or Ferg. Do you mind if I call you Ferg? Uh, no. No, uh, I was called Ferg at school. No, it's really cute. It's really distinguished. But there is a weight <clears throat> of evidence against you. Yeah, well, look, I have absolutely no properties, other than the one I live in. Maybe. OK, OK, OK. I don't want to put you under any pressure, OK? I'm not under any pressure. No, 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 I know. I know, you're bearing up really well. Actually, you're really chiselled. Yeah. Do you work out? No. Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes. Well, <clears throat> why? No, I was just wondering if um, you had a gem in one of your properties. <laughs> there are no other properties. End of Miriam. Okay. <laughs>